Hi everyone, I'm so excited for today's live with Olga, I had so many questions, uh, I know that you are waiting for her, <laughs> for a fencing live, so we're gonna wait that she's, she connects and we're gonna start the live, I prepared my questions, so Hi guys, today is a fencing, special fencing live. Um, I'm thinking that even if you don't know fencing, you can stay. It's a really good time to just like um, discover. Everyone wants to go live. Wait a minute. Um, how do I come back? No, sorry guys. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, go. So we're waiting for Ganesh is here. Come on, to my Ganesh. So we're waiting for Olga to connect. Olga, if you are here, just let me know that I can invite you. I'm gonna send her directly. Maybe she's walking out. She said that she has a workout just before. So. <laughs> Hi. No, guys, you cannot uh, request for a live today because we're waiting for, for Olga. She's here. Perfect. So let's do it. I'm so excited. It's connecting. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. How are you? I'm so happy. It's, well, it's so sunny. There. Not here. <laughs> oh, here Where is horrible are you? weather. I am at home. I'm in Kiev, unfortunately. Oh, I thought you were with your family. No? Um, my family in a different city. It's yes. in Nikolai. So uh, I'm with my um, sister here. So cool. she's at work. And uh, so I'm alone with cat. <laughs> And um, here is such a bad weather now. Like I, I, I look at you. It's so cool. It's so yeah. I'm lucky. Cool. I know. <laughs> yeah, That's so nice. lucky. <laughs> How's it going in uh, in Los Angeles? In well, Los we are Angeles. still in quarantine. So yeah, of course. <laughs> so that's it. But they opened like the parks and the beach. So it's nice. You can go outside if you're not. Oh, they too... open it. Yes, they open it. Cool. Yeah, but just like the businesses are still closed and you cannot um, go anywhere, mm -hmm. bars, restaurants and stuff. How is it in yeah. Ukraine? Uh, it's pretty much the same. But now it's from 11th May. It's kind of easier now. Yeah, uh, They opened like uh, saloons, like some uh, shops, like closet shops, of course, supermarkets and everything. But people, you know, kind of don't care about this they just go out you know it's yeah. just different such different you know like in u.s and uh like in italy as i know mm -hmm. and uh so it's kind of you know tough to speak to our people because... yeah like in paris too you know they just reopened like on monday and the next day everyone was outside next to each other with no mask yeah. and you're like yeah why are you doing that <laughs> Uh, so I, I think it's uh, the same in all the countries <laughs> uh, because people like uh, they want to be with someone, you know, to meet people, to speak, you know, you can, they can understand that it must be like to take some time for that. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's crazy. So how did you leave it? Did you walk out? at home every yeah, day yeah. <laughs> like, nice know. like you no, <laughs> not like no, you not because, every yeah. day. <laughs> I, it's not every day no it's crazy because race is like every day it didn't stop and i'm like man crazy. there is no olympic games anymore i cannot fence so it was not like every day i tried to <laughs> to keep going but it was not the same <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For me, it's like um, I saw it uh, at your public. You know, it's it was so cool because you can go outside of your at least home because I'm in apartments. Yes, and you just can't go out because at all. But uh, for me, it was tough for first uh, week, two yeah. weeks. Uh, I was kind of 
apathic let's say you know like i don't want to do anything and also yeah, i wanted same. to rest after uh, season half season and uh, also after uh, camp and uh, also competitions i wanted to rest and uh, then uh, you know everyone like get used to it and uh, try to figure out about zoom about some trainings yeah. how it's gonna work you know and now it's it's working well but still uh, not the same you know you, you want to go to you, you want to go to gym you know you want to feel it you, know, you want to feel this atmosphere i i miss it a lot but you have to live with this now unfortunately but uh, yeah i work i work out i have yes. some weights from, That's good. Uh, i have <laughs> i have <laughs> bicycle i have also fencing trainings uh, with our club feathers karma with andrea Terencia, our uh, coach you know like uh, i think my neighbors downstairs they're just crazy about that because i do like step lunches like attacks <laughs> and everything because it's like uh, my sister she's also during my trainings she's nice. in the living room <laughs> yeah she's she's looking at me like this like uh you know <laughs> like what's going on <laughs> because uh, you're gonna break uh, the floor for sure <laughs> and she also filmed it because it was like crazy uh, but uh, you know it's something because i have a lot of not a lot of you know some space at least to yes have good attack you know <laughs> <laughs> and everything and you how is it going with you you, you do some fencing now you some footwork no um you know, so the the problem and the good thing is that we're living with uh, our physical trainer, Maurizio. <laughs> so every morning, it was like, okay, let's go, let's push. I'm like, Maurizio, calm down. It's 8 a.m. I can't. <laughs> he wakes up at 7 a.m. like, slow down. I can't, you know. But, um, and like one time, he, he was so excited to walk at home that he did like a crazy workout and I threw up. So for no. four days, I did nothing. I was like, Maurice, you leave me alone. I don't want to see you. <laughs> I cannot walk out. So I just like say, I want to walk out, but because I want to stay active, I want to keep, uh, you know, I don't want like when we start fencing to just be out of breath and like be like, oh my God, this is so hard. I'm going to be for sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is I don't have my teacher preparation coach in uh, my apartment, but uh, I think I will be like a plus <laughs> kiosk for sure. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be like, and in summer soon, yes. uh, it's going to be depressive for sure. <laughs> no, I think at the beginning I started to eat everything in the fridge and now I'm starting to have a good diet again because at the beginning I was just eating everything all the time and now I'm like, no, you need to stop. Hey, you know, I don't see anything like you. You gain some weight, so yeah. Know, I do. <laughs> you for know. you, it's no problem, I think. <laughs> Especially you have your physio preparation coach in your. <laughs> yeah, but I, I ask him to back up. I ask him to back up. Now I train alone. He's there. I was like, no, always just stay outside. I, I train alone. <laughs> no, it, I, I think it was hard. You know. No. I but... never threw up, but it was close, <laughs> close to. Before. Yeah, you never before? No, it was my first time. It was my first um, time. I'm so sorry about that. But he understood that it, it was something wrong and uh, it was a lot or... or I just what? think, uh, yeah, it was a lot that day. And um, it was a training like um, you have, uh, for example, you, you do an exercise. So, so you have 10 exercises and uh, you have to do it in two minutes. And oh, no. if you if you do it, no, I think it was two, three minutes, like fencing. So if you finish it before, you can have more rest. So it's like yes, you yes, know? yes, I know that. You know, I know, I know that. It's so horrible. you kind of go fast at the beginning to have more rest, but then you exhausted. The second one, you go slow, but you have no rest. So it's like yeah, it's no not rest. better. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So it's mm -hmm. um, it's kind it's, of like from CrossFit stuff, yes. no, something like this. Yeah, yeah something it's like. like that. I did CrossFit a uh, long time ago. Yeah. It was so hard. And uh, some someday it was like I was, I think that day was when I was close to draw. <laughs> when I did CrossFit. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm so sorry about that. But it's, you know, it's some cool, cool, cool that no, you have yeah. to do. It's a COVID workout kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 very cool. Because for me, it was like I, I went out from my apartment like, once or twice per week mm -hmm. 
uh, just for uh, food in supermarket. That's yes. all. And uh, then uh, um, I was running, start to running uh, next uh, our neighborhood. Like uh, we have like big buildings, and it's kind of it was okay. Like thirty five minutes uh, for running, it was kind of for me yes. it was totally okay. <laughs> and uh, but from since one month, I think only. After yeah. one month, I start to to run. Uh, right, before okay. it was just like uh, bicycle, by bi- bike. My. Uh, it's good that you have a bicycle at home. It was yes. cold. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It it, it it's very good because um, some decathlon, you know, like yes, dec- yes, it's very famous. Ah, yeah, it's they the yeah, they they made it for me. Like uh, they not presented, they gave it to me for rent. That's okay. cool. That's good. it's a really good one. <laughs> good one. Do you like? I saw that sometimes you did football out of fencing. No, football. Is this is why I saw on on an article that sometimes you were running and doing soccer. Not no. true. No. <laughs> no. Soccer and me, I'm like totally different. Like me, uh, like soccer, basketball, and me. It's like totally different <laughs> direction. Okay, so that was not a good article. So but, I want but, to talk but, about but, like yeah. when you started fencing. So before you were dancing, right? Yeah, yeah, I was dancer before. I started uh, dancing like when I was six. Uh, it was like three years when uh, it was so super, super cool. I liked it a lot. Like. Yeah. Uh, um it was uh, we made like some co- cool competition we were successful uh, and uh, for our age my what partner kind of dance? like uh, um like cha cha uh, samba oh. rumba tango and every- awesome. yeah yeah i did it yes i did <laughs> i did it <laughs> do you have videos of that because that would be awesome yes i have it no uh, I- Yes, I have it from in my childhood uh, videotape, and I have it. It's super cool. It's super cool, but I never like show it to everyone because it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know, <laughs> but it's super cool, really. And um, I was like, I was so cool by fencing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, and uh, then uh, at nine, uh, I just drop it because because of my. Uh, like uh, situation in um, family my parents couldn't uh, afford uh, this you know payment mm-hmm. for this sport because also my uh, uh, my sister she's bigger than me like six years and she also uh, used to dance in this club uh, that's why I started actually because my mother like put me there <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like go there with her and uh, then we stopped and uh, it was from in the beginning of uh, summer and the, and the end of the summer I start to I start to do school and also fencing. It was 10 September 200, uh, 2000. Yeah, I remember oh. even day. <laughs> but did you train with your godfather? Yes, uh, he was like a um, proposer about that. You know, he, he said, uh, let's try it. Uh, but she's so small, like she's short. <laughs> yes, I was short. Uh, in one summer, I grew up like in 15 uh, centimeters in one summer. So I was short when I was, but I was like uh, very strong because uh, in dancing, I was like kind of strong one. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh, but I don't know, maybe uh, you will try like foil, but uh, you come to Sabre. Because oh, yes. you're short yes, one. Yes, I, I was like, foil. thanks. <laughs> Actually, I never tried, like, I never changed. So it wasn't like foil, then saber. It was yes. saber from the beginning. Cool. Yeah, it was so, it's so cool. Yeah. Did you try and, after uh, to do foil? Like for fun? Never. Yes, yes. I, I like foil, but it's fucking hard. How do you do it? I can, I can understand that I have, like, uh, I can't <laughs> even, you know, the do the target, you know? <laughs> That's why I'm so bad in basketball, because I can't, like, I threw it Aim. somewhere, you know? <laughs> That's all. I can run. I can fight. I can, uh, you know, take the ball. But when I go to the basket, like under the basket, I'm like through it somewhere. <laughs> ball, like it's not for me. You know, <laughs> don't don't give bo- uh, the ball for me. You know, <laughs> and uh, yes, I tried uh, foil. I never tried AP. AP. Uh, I think I've 
I maybe try one time. No, when I was young, I uh, it, because I started in Guadeloupe, you know, in Spain. Ah, yes, 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 it's so cool. That you need uh -huh. to come to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> But uh, if you invite me, <laughs> it's done. You invited. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I started there, and so it was small competition, you know. And one time I win in um, fun. And they're like, oh, try Epe. And so I tried the next day and I finished the last one in Epe the next day. I was like, I'm going to stay in four. I think it's better. Yeah, it's probably more fun. Yeah, I like it. Is. It. it is. <laughs> yeah. But did you try Saber someday? No? Uh, I've tried one time with Charlotte in a camp. She was like, okay, fans. That was fun. That was At the beginning, she was surprised, but at the end, she just killed me. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think? Like um, Ariana, she changed sometimes. Yes. <laughs> what, <laughs> she changed. what do you think about it? I think it's. Um, I mean, she's a great fencer, so it's kind of like amazing that she uh, could do both. Um, yeah. The switch yeah. is not easy because for me, even if uh, people say it's fencing, it's not the same sport. You don't need the same. Yeah. Uh, skills ability and what was crazy with ariana i think it's like she was more excited by saber so i could see yeah. it. she was so happy to go in saber and she was like it was after rio so she was so happy yeah. and then yeah. she was coming to far and she was like no it's too easy she was bored. <laughs> it's boring <laughs> it's so no, i think it was for her like uh more some new goal you know yeah a therapy uh, kind of thing yeah Yeah, because when people said to me, like, she's spoiled, how she can be that, uh, you know, she will not be strong. I said, no, she's going to be strong. Gonna because be strong. in Saber also, because she's smart, you yeah. know, she, you can be, like, strong physically, but if you're smart, you know, how you can, you know, move yeah. your body and uh, do movements and some uh, actions, you know, this is makes you more, uh, you know, strong. strong yeah. And she is like very, very, very successful and very smart foil fencer. Yeah. And to be like in a uh, saber, for sure, it's even easier. You know, you need to, in the, in foil, you have like a white lump. Yeah. In saber, you don't have it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have it. So you just like, I don't, I don't say that it's easier, but uh, yeah. I I thought I don't know necessarily. Like... I don't think it's it's easier uh, because you need some stuff I, I cannot do. Like uh, it's so fast, or like yeah. even the way that you think and then like of the of the line, you analyze a thing and then you have to to kind of uh, it's like really the chess game in that yeah. kind of thing yeah, that yeah. I want to talk about because we don't have that. It's uh, on guard pali and then you can build. You you have to be so ready at the. Uh, <laughs> you have to build. You can build during the you know, yes. during the phrase during the phrase and you then you build. You can see we have to build before. Yes, <laughs> yes. before <laughs> even <laughs> build. You know, before <laughs> even you think you have to have. You need to have like some plan, because sometimes uh, you know there is a lot of uh, situation when you're up like um, at a higher with score. Yes, and then you just go down because you don't have time for time. To, to think about that. That's why some athletes, uh, some uh, fencers, they just take time, just I injure it or something like yes. this to think about. <laughs> you know, there is like, but that I can't do. Really? <laughs> yes, I can do. <laughs> like someone said to me, take a pause, take a pause. Uh huh. For me, take a pause is just like uh, move your my uh, shoes. It's, yes, <laughs> it's like take a pause. And that's all because I have this problem, like mental one, that uh, I will do it next one. Next one I will do it. Next one I will do. Next one I will do. It. Next one is five zero. Yeah, no, I never do it. Like I uh, think the times are like the best in that. Like everything, the hair, the shoes, like the, But it's um. Uh, when Doesn't I work for me. <laughs> Who? Doesn't work for me. No. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's when I started problem. to work with Stefano, it was like you have to do it. I don't care if you take three touches in a row, you you break the match. And I I started to do it because I, before I I was not doing it. It's I of, envy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, because to to have pause for me, it's like when I, for example, do two touches in a row. Yeah. For me, pause it's only take off my mask like like that. You know? Yes. <laughs> This is about, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <I can. laughs> and that's all. 
<laughs> bust. <laughs> but like, so in cyber, you you eat, and the time that you go on your line, you think of like what you're gonna do next, right? Yes, or it's like, ah, what's I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Something's like this, you know, like when I'm 14, 14, uh, I don't know who can say uh, that it's like, uh, I have plan. Like, yeah. uh, for me, it's like, uh, ah, don't do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it's more about, um, I don't know, mental uh, stability, you know, yes. in fourteen fourteen because, of course, in foil and AP, you can build in some seconds, let's say. Yeah. But in Sabre, it's just like one clip and... Uh, it's done. It's all. You know, yeah. go, because go, I would say go. in foil, it's even maybe dangerous to have a plan for us. Because um, if the person doesn't do what you want it to do, like you have to really try to be able to do it in the moment. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's better yeah. to just sometimes have no plan. But for you, maybe it's not possible at all. No, for me, it's not possible. But, you know, I always was amazed about your time, uh, time feeling. Yeah. So you had like three minutes. Yes, for, for me it's like endless, for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, how you can, for example, that much uh, like uh, between Litali and Nam, like it's this specific. famous one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, the famous. One. It's something incredible, you know. I know she's like, uh, she's amazing, like very f great athlete, but it's you know it's kind of something unbelievable. How, how it can be like possible <laughs> that she she waits like that all the time and at the end she just goes i mean yeah, yeah. you have to, to deal with the time for sure Vizali was the best at that because she was like doing nothing but actually it's not nothing she's making you do something to 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 make you make a mistake yeah. and then she's waiting for the time if if she, you're not in her distance and at the right time she's not gonna do something you know so she's wow. waiting for that perfect moment and then she's just feeling it. Um, and then if the time you run out of time, you have to go. And this is where she was super good because everyone thought that she was so good in defense and she yeah. was doing only on that. But when she needed to attack, she was also super good in attack. Ooh, <laughs> so that's, that's cool. But cool, not yeah. all the, like, if you fans with Ariana in four, it's the same. You know that you're never going to finish the, the match three times three minutes. It's always going to be like... Uh, super fast that's why that's why i was like uh watching her first time like very deeply yes. it was montreal 2015 and i saw that she did like parallel post by distance in foil <laughs> i was like this is some uh sa saber notes you know? <laughs> <laughs> i can see something similar and the uh, foil guy said like oh yes she spends she fans like uh Saber yes, sometimes. sometimes, and I was like, "Hmm, it's very interesting." Then I started to follow your fighting in uh, foil, and was so impressed because it's unpredictable. Uh, and I, I'll, it's you know, but uh, it's super cool. Yeah, but she made something in saber, you know. She yes, was <laughs> she was success. She was second on Grand Prix. Yeah, I saw. And that. I fenced with her also against her fifteen fourteen. It was kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's good. She's good. I think now uh, she cannot do both. But uh, for for me, my opinion was that she could do both if she wants. But Actually, so. some political stuff, I think. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's so. It's, uh, mm. for sure. uh, so what do you think you need to be a good saber fencer? Uh, what do I know? <laughs> um... First of all, it's uh, a lot of work, like y you know it. Yes. You know, if you want to achieve something, especially like in fencing or something in your life, you have to work like a lot. Yeah. Nothing when not, nothing comes to you like just on the plan, yeah. plate. For sure. You know, so all the champions, all the athletes, they just uh, die in, in the. Um, in the uh, like hall and halls and everywhere in in uh, in competition and everywhere. So for me, it works like this: if you want to achieve something, you have to work a lot. You have to find something new. You have to uh, create something. You know, for example, for me, some it was some moment when I was stuck with my fencing and uh, 
with my mentality also and I didn't understand what to do you know but always mm -hmm. if you change something if you wanted to change something for example I found uh, Andrea like this Italian coach that uh, very I very sim sympathetic for me I would yeah. say nice. that uh, he is like uh, I actually I didn't found him it was like a situation you know because I came to Italy for Gigi uh, sometimes and uh, there was like Andrea who trains him and uh, it was just like beginning let's try let's try you know and then I start to see in this like something right for me and it can be I can improve yes. so yeah also this is like um, he didn't he didn't want to change me, you know, because I'm like grow enough athlete, and uh, he wants to improve me somehow, yes. you know, and that's why I like more. That yeah. he didn't want to change. He doesn't want to change me. He wants to improve. So you have to be like you can be huge champion, uh, you know, with uh, a lot of uh, things behind your uh, like shoulders, but you have to change something and find to improve yourself every time because also fencing it doesn't stay in one place right in one level it's also like look at the for example i don't know london 2012 it's different speeds it's different uh, phrases it's different even rules you know now it's totally different even uh, two years ago it was totally different and um, it's changing every year yeah and uh, now it's more athletic for us in saber it's more yes. athletic if i wouldn't uh, like five or six years ago i didn't think about to to work with physical condition with the uh, weights like, because yes. it's uh, now you have to <laughs> yes everyone's doing yes. it yeah. yeah because some girls they're so strong to hit you you know just like yes. uh, for example uh, charlotte Lima. <laughs> yes <laughs> my fourth my fourth like doesn't even <laughs> works never <laughs> once i went against her in belgium i think somewhere it was such a cool match it was uh 15 14 yes, uh, and uh, uh i was like uh staying like with my four which pretty much good you know yes and she was like touching me and like oh. here <laughs> palm, like with that strong and uh, i had like blue mark like here like this <laughs> But I understood, like, my, my form doesn't work at all. <laughs> You're this, this power, you know. Like, uh, now I understand that, uh, yeah, sometimes you need to be kind of strong with that. And uh, so to be uh, also mentality, also your soul and uh, how, to you, how you want to be, you know, successful or you want to be winner or... Um, also, it's about improving yourself mentally. I work with psychologists, you know. Uh, you work with a psychologist? Uh, yes, with sport one. Me yeah, too. yeah. It's like uh, very important for us, you know. Yes, I think yeah. in France you know, uh, it was not. Uh, it's just like in uh, really recently that we do that, and it's a big change for us. And I think now it's really necessary in sports. Like I don't yeah. know how long you've been working with a psychologist. Uh, from 2008. <laughs> wow. It's the same yeah. one? That's, that's really... Yeah. So it means that it's really uh, a part kind of, of your preparation. Yeah, yeah he's like uh, the big part of our preparation, really. He's like um, more coach, psychologist, psychology coach. Yes. We also do a lot of exercises uh, after trainings for concentration, for pay attention with numbers with memory with uh, so we improving uh, like our brain well, you know, for, yeah. because also he works with boxers and our preparation is kind of uh, the same yeah. of course not like that we have a lot of competitions not like them like two 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 uh, bouts in the one year but it's kind of uh, tough also uh, and uh, we do something like maybe you saw in my instagram i, I did uh, like this um, coin challenge with the, when I yes. uh, yeah, catch the so it was his idea right. and uh, it was like necessary if you will not do it you will not go to room <laughs> <laughs> so you have to stay and do it like until you die 
<laughs> and uh, it's kind of <laughs> yes and there is a lot of um, there is a lot of uh, exercises like that so i made this time with this coin like um, after two hours two hours two hours i was like that's why my face in the end was like this <laughs> And it's all because Wait, also can I leave? <laughs> yes. Can I leave and I wanna eat or something like that? And uh also because he said to me like uh, I did it before and uh, he said to me, Let's do it again for uh, on camera. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, No, 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 no. He said like uh you will not do it, are you sure? It's like okay, I will do it, you know. Sounds this accepts it. Yeah, this this like uh, training us like this, uh, you know, I don't know how to say it in English. When you just you need to do it, or yeah. you will do it, or we'll we'll do that. The same <laughs> on the on the piece, you know, the sometime like when it's you think it's done, you know, like you know you're not gonna do it because you are eight one down. Yeah, and everything can happen, you know, everything can happen. So you always believe that you can win the bounce, no matter what is the score. It's never end until fifth uh, touch uh, is there. So, so like uh, what? Because until... I've seen a lot that you come back and it's like crazy. Um, so what do you think when it happens? Like what is your mindset? A mindset. It's like it's never finished when it's like we we didn't shake our hands. You know. Yeah. That's all. Like you, you can do your, um, you know, analysis until uh, during the match. You know, you have, like, you have time. You have um, poss possibility to do it. You know, it's it's not finished yet. It's, you know, like that. And uh, you have to understand the the hardest part of that. You have to understand your mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're just confused because you know. Some people know that, uh, you know, you are a great athlete, you are a strong one, you don't need any coach, you don't need any, uh, uh, you know, anything, you know, to say. Every coach can, can stay next to you and like, no, mm -hmm. I need that coach that someday, uh, some someday some bout will say to me, like, change this and yes. I will hear him, you know. Okay. And uh, it may, it has to be like right thing. And uh, sometimes, of, of course, it's confusing because like you don't know what to do it's panicking and uh, everything what to do and then and and then done you know when you're just like panicking and then you just need to slow down like breathe and uh you know just think what you do wrong yeah so you have time from this small time from when you got small. the yeah yeah the time when you go from the one uh, one side of piece to your line you have to understand like quickly yeah so that's why we also work um with our psychologist to make like right decision in a very short time mm -hmm. yeah that's why so uh, you know you can ask uh, french girls because we were in the inset uh, before orlean and uh, we were doing this uh, some exercises with patient on patient or something like that and they were, they were what are you doing <laughs> yes i was looking at, like I, I'm look. Uh, I look like a dump, you know, like something like that. But it worked. I'm, I'm kind of. Yeah, that's yeah, so and cool. 